Hi, it's time to talk about time. <laughs> Bad jokes by Miss Lamb. We talked about time in school before we left. We had already finished pages 589 through 598 in lesson 27, session one. So those pages should all be done. You should be up to page 598. I did want to do a quick review of time for those of you who felt lost in those pages and needed kind of a refresh before we jump into some more tricky things about time. So on your clock, you have 12 big numbers or lines, and those represent the 12 hours. There's 12 hours in the morning, which is a.m., and 12 hours in the afternoon, which is p.m. So it just repeats, it's a big pattern. It starts at 12 and it ends at 12, and then it keeps going and going and going. So every one of these little lines on the clock is one minute. When you get from one number to the next, it's five minutes. At the 12, it is o'clock. You don't say 900 or 900, it's nine o'clock. And this little hand is the hour hand, and the longer hand is the minute hand. This teeny hand that's moving quicker than the rest, that is the second hand. Not all clocks have a second hand. This clock is an analog clock, and it is very important that you all learn how to tell time on an analog clock and not just a digital clock. So this is an analog clock. The hour hand is the little one. The minute hand is the long one. That's really all you need to know. When you tell time, you always do the hour first. Again, I like to think of it like a video game. It's like a checkpoint. So we make it to nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So you're always going to do the hour first and then the minutes. So this is really cool because it ties into multiplication as well. So each group of these is five minutes. So there's five little lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you notice, 5, 10, 15, 20. I lost my 25 when I moved it out of school. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, o'clock. It's really 60, but we don't say 60, we say o'clock. So there's 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in one minute. So everything stops at 60 and starts over again. Lots of patterns here. So, if you notice, one times five is five, two times five is 10, three times five is 15, four times five is 20, five times five is 25, six times five is 30, seven times five is 35, eight times five is 40, nine times five is 45, 10 times five is 50, 11 times five is 55, and 12 times five is 60. So that is how it has multiplication because it has one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five, four groups of five, five groups of five, six, you see the idea, eight groups of five, nine groups of five, 10, 11, and 12 groups of five. So that is just the basic rundown of the clock. When you talk about time in our book, it talks about you know six minutes after or four minutes before, when you say after, so right now it is eight minutes after nine. So when you do after, you're going to go to the right. This direction is called clockwise, clockwise because this is the direction that the hands move. These are called hands. This is called a face. So you're going to go to the right, and that is called clockwise when you're looking for after. So right now it is eight after nine. And now it is nine after nine, all right? Same thing, but opposite for when you say it is 50 minutes before 10. So right now it would be 50 minutes before 10. 60 minus 10 is 50. If it's before, then I start at the 10 and we go this way, I go backwards. Counterclockwise is what that's called. So let me show you on the dry erase board. If I have five minutes before five, if it's before, we're going to go backwards because it's before, it hasn't happened yet. So I'm gonna draw my small hand here 
and it isn't quite to the five because it's before five. So remember, this is like a checkpoint. It is still four. And then we go four minutes before. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. This is 55, 56. It was four, 56. Do you see how I did that? So now, oh, I need to draw my hand. This is my minute hand and it's longer. So there it is. Four minutes before five. And now I'm gonna go after, and after means I'm going this way because it's already turned nine o'clock. So I know my hour hand is going to be shorter and it's gonna to point to the nine and it's six minutes. So six is not a lot. As your minute hand moves, this hour hand gets closer and closer and closer to the next number. But it's only six minutes, so I'm pretty safe leaving it right at the nine. Now it's six minutes. I can count six minutes out, one, two, three, four, five, six, or I know that this is one group of five. If I make it to the one, that's five and six. So it's faster and I'm a third grader. I like those shortcuts. So I'm going to count by fives and then by ones. And that is also what your book talks about. Your book talks about, hold on, let me slow down really quick. It is 9.06. Your book talks about counting in groups of five. And that is exactly what you should do. Instead of counting out all of these, you want to learn to build your automaticity, which means you want it to be really fluid. You want it to be really natural, that you're not like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you should know this is 12.05, this is 12.10, 12.15. Well, if your feet, if your hand is right there, you wanna do 12.15, 16, 17, 18, it's 12.18. The book also talks about elapsed time. Elapsed time, how much time has passed? So um, it's if I start at four o'clock, and I end at 4.15, I need to know how much time has elapsed. Well, it's 15 minutes. On a clock, it would look like this. Let me find my eraser. So the book will say, she started her homework at let's just say four o'clock. When she was done with her homework, so she started at four o'clock, when she ended with her homework, it was right there. Okay, so then we know we're gonna start at four o'clock. So we're gonna start at four o'clock and we just pretend we came with this and we're gonna go we're gonna count by fives so we're gonna count 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 66 67 67 minutes which equals one hour and seven minutes. Okay, so when you do elapsed time, you're going to count in groups of five as you go along the clock. Not all of them will do that. That one passed over an hour. You know, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so you can pull that out, and then there's seven minutes left. So that is just a brief run through of those pages that we did in class. All of those should be done. I know that some of it, it was hard for you. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to go over them at the math Zoom. We should be all the way done up to page 598. And you're doing before and after. So remember, after is forward, before we're going to move backwards. It hasn't happened yet. So you have to count back and subtract. All right, have fun with that, my mathematicians.